Welcome to our Aerodrome Safeguarding Series of Explainer Videos. This short video will explain the concept of gradient and how to calculate it in the context of aerodrome safeguarding. To find the gradient of a straight line, choose any two points on the line, draw a right angle triangle with the line as hypotenuse, and work out the vertical length divided by the horizontal length. The result is the gradient of the line. Or in other words, rise over run gives the slope or gradient. It is important to note that the terms gradient and slope can be used interchangeably and can be measured in terms of percent or degrees. In this example, the rise of 5 is the same as the run, producing a gradient of 100%, which is equivalent to a slope of 45 degrees. In this video, we're interested in calculating gradient expressed in terms of percentage, rather than an angular slope measured in terms of degrees, calculated using trigonometry and the functions sine, cosine and tangent. In this example, the obstacle, which is a tree, is 6 metres high, and assuming the ground is level between the runway and the tree, at a distance of 300 metres, the gradient to the top of the tree is 2%. Note that the vertical scale is exaggerated. Another way of looking at it is, if we have a limiting gradient of 2%, then at a distance of 300 metres, an obstacle, in this case a tree, can be 6 metres high without penetrating the surface. In an airport operational environment, the runway and the surrounding area are not always perfectly level, so we need to consider the difference in height between the starting point of the gradient calculation, such as the runway threshold or runway strip end, and the ground level at the site of the obstacle. In this example, the runway has an elevation of 30 metres above a nominal datum, and the site of a proposed obstacle is 35 metres at a distance of 400 metres. To calculate how high an obstacle can be without penetrating a 2% gradient, we need to draw a right angle triangle with the runway as the starting point. At a distance of 400 metres, an obstacle can be 8 metres above the runway elevation without exceeding the 2% limit. Since the ground elevation is already 5 metres above the runway elevation, then the obstacle can only be 3 metres high at this location. In this video, we explained the concept of gradient and how to calculate it in the context of aerodrome safeguarding. If you want to find out more about protecting your airport's operational airspace, contact us at aviationprojects.com.au or in Australia on 07 3371 0788.